Hello everybody, it's your boy Adam here once again, and we're continuing on creating our magic dynamic XML PHP files, which is having PHP render out perfect XML for all of your XML driven applications, whether they be Flash, whatever. So in the first one we did creating dynamic photo gallery XML files. I covered that pretty in depth and I'm going to show you now creating dynamic MP3 player XML files which is very very similar but I wanted to put the script out just in case some people maybe had a little bit of trouble manipulating that first file I put out for galleries to echo out the right data for MP3 players. So basically all I did was I went in and I changed the directory and if you didn't see the first lesson on this I suggest you go and see that now if you're having any troubles. Uh, but I changed the directory file. All I did was change the directory to mp3 folder. So this file is going to have PHP look inside of a folder called mp3 to see all of the mp3 files that are within that folder. Now all we have to do is change this .jpeg into .mp3 and so it's all doing the same things except it's looking for an mp3 files this time and I changed the picture nodes to render as song nodes and the child nodes within are song num and song URL and an important thing to mention right now is that flash can grab the ID3 data the metadata for the songs so all you have to do really is send the file into Flash and Flash can figure out what the track title is, who the artist is, all of that stuff just using the ID3 data that you can access within Flash for any file that's playing any music file that's playing, any mp3 file it can access the ID3 data so really if you're using this for Flash you don't have to send in the artist and the title the ID3 data can be accessed automatically within Flash ActionScript or PHP can also access ID3 data and it's a little more complicated but it's possible to do and you can have PHP access to ID3 data and have your XML rendered with ID3 data all set up and ready to go but if you're using this for a flash mp3 player there's no need because flash and action script can render out ID3 data song title the song artist and all of that stuff is embedded within each song and there's also ways maybe you have songs that don't have ID3 data there's a whole multitude of programs that will let you put in file information metadata and ID3 data for that particular song if it happens to be missing if it's missing its artist if it's missing the title and all of the little pieces of information that are in ID3 so that's it that was all I had to do to change this to render out for a flash mp3 player so this one's all ready to go and in the next one we're gonna cover and the only reason I wanted to do this one on video is for and get this file at develop PHP so people can snatch it up is in case anybody had trouble manipulating the first one to now do mp3 files a lot of you guys might have seen the first one and said well I can change that easily to do for my mp3 file but then there's some people who can't just do those things intuitively on their own because they're not advanced yet that's why this lesson has come about. Now the next one is definitely going to be necessary because even some of you advanced guys I mean I know some of you guys are, are advanced enough to render out your MySQL database results and list it all in XML but I'm going to show it anyway. So lesson three I'm going to show you how to access your MySQL database render out within a loop all the XML nodes from that from the result set of your SQL query. So hang tight, that'll be the last one, it'll call this series quits.